seen you in a movie i heard you in a song now i know that this will never go wrong like you already knew me hi guys welcome back to my channel i am so excited to share this video with you guys this is like my first travel proper vlog that i intended to make um just we just planned out of nowhere and we went to chicago for a day uh we are not only going to share with you guys about how we went what we do did but also we are going to share with you how much we spent on our trip uh so we um if you are new here i'm going to introduce myself again my name is vishwa bahosar i usually do a uh, skin care routine hair care routine but i am posting my first travel vlog we took the ambassador bridge to cross the border uh, we got our security check done we paid $7 at the toll on on route we paid for dominos pizza we took a break and we reached at midnight and i'm going to show you our room this room costed us $150 in total for a very nice and very i i would say it was clean and it was good for a minimum budget uh, travel for you guys After the long drive, we just wanted to cuddle up and uh, end it, call it a night. Uh, we watched Friends in the night, and it was awesome. For all my Kuchu travelers, <laughs> I definitely recommend you to travel with Thevla or some kind of snacks that you would have. Otherwise, mm -mm, you ain't gonna be happy. <laughs> Very excited because this is my first time in Chicago and. as you know it was all unplanned and we are still thinking about uh, staying one day or two day but let's see how it goes hey yeah thank you babe i have like we have made like some kind of uh, like a plan of what we are going to do today and let's see how our itinerary is going to work we are yes. planning it out now yeah and we'll show you guys what you can do in one day with the less like minimum amount of uh i mean the minimum minimum expenses yeah. and the more places to cover and more fun yes. bye in our list it was the first thing that we wanted to go was starbucks reserve that's the one place you should definitely go um it's the world biggest starbucks that they have so we looked around for a parking that was nearby make sure that you have your parking set throughout the day it's going to cost you $60 and yes make sure you park it somewhere it's nearby to everything uh, in downtown as soon as we got into downtown the buildings around were so beautiful we found ontario street as well um it was so much beautiful oh my god the architecture is amazing i think this is one of the best downtown i think i have been and there's still more to see we are heading towards the starbucks reserve in chicago which is situated on michigan avenue it opened in november 15 2019 and the reserve features on site coffee roasting for a unique experience the menu offers rare reserve coffees and exclusive beverages and food options various brewing methods one of the focal points of the design is a large roasting cask prominently displayed where coffee beans are roasted on site it serves as both a functional and a visual centerpiece we got a coffee and a just a snack and we just we were just so mesmerized with everything around there and enjoyed our time there and i saw all gender bathroom i only studied of this in interior designing uh, while i was studying i was so happy to see that in real it was so nice to be here i don't didn't want to leave but we wanted to finish our itinerary of the day so we went around and walked through and saw the wing the plaza of america and yeah there were many people so we didn't uh, click any pictures there i was flabbergasted with all different kind of buildings that they had um we wanted to go for the architectural tour uh, which was the main thing that we wanted to do when we were we are in chicago but it was too hot so we decided to go later 
started walking towards the famous bean and we also saw on our way Nutella we didn't go there as we already had Starbucks uh, make sure to wear shoes you have to walk a lot guys like throughout the day and make sure you are wearing sunscreen as we reached Millennium Park we saw this monument a semi-circular row of Doric style columns I love it I just love it we both started doing some photo shoot got some pictures and help other people get some pictures too we are heading to the field oh my god this officially is called as Cloud Cave. It's commonly known as the Bean, created by Anish Kapoor, the Indian bee. So proud right now. Made of polished stainless steel, reflecting the surroundings. Bean shape, measuring 33 feet by 66 feet by 40 feet. Visitors can walk around and under it, taking pictures and videos and enjoying their own reflections. This represents a get getaway, reflecting Chicago's diversity and vibrancy it's a famous chicago attraction and has appeared in so many movies i've seen in it so many movies that i always wanted to be here maybe someday but i am here oh my god there's no entry fee for uh, being in this uh, park and we just took a break sat down for some time and just enjoyed the view around and we took the bridge the bp bridge it's beautifully done um, you can we can just walk around and take some trails we then plan to go to the museum but there are so many museums in chicago and we didn't have a lot of time on our hands so we decided we'll come back again and visit someday and we were hungry and there were many food trucks outside the museum so we just got some tacos and enjoyed our lunch break and then it was already 3 uh, in the afternoon and we decided to go for our architectural tour because it's gonna take like 2 to 3 hours so we headed towards it. Architectural uh, boat tour is $70 per head. This tour is one of the important things to do in Chicago. If you guys are here for a day, make sure you take this tour because it's very important and it tells you all, all about the architectural and the redevelopment of Chicago. This river is has the most beautiful scenic uh, buildings. This was my first uh, tour but my husband's tour, he, he came here for the second time. So every time you get on the boat, you are going to get a different kind of guide and they're going to tell different facts about the buildings which are very interesting and it's going to blow your mind. Um, trust me. As we know, Chicago is the birthplace of the modern skyscrapers and showcases diverse architectural styles. So this is like hub if you want to, if you are a student of an architecture college or anything, this is immensely awesome. I personally uh, believe in sustainability, so Chicago is a leader in green building practices, which makes me more happy to be here. We got done with our tour and we were hungry as it was already 6, 6.30 so we ended up having the famous deep dish pizza in Chicago. We were so hungry that the first pizzeria we saw we just went in. It was 30 minutes uh, waiting period but we still made it. We ordered one pizza and it costed us about $35. We were so full so we decided to go for Chicago River Walk and just sit around and enjoy the view. This place was full of love, art and I would say man-made heaven. If you like hearing more about uh, these kind of videos, I am definitely going to share it more often. Uh, I'm coming up with another video on my skincare and my hair care. So hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Um